So, here is a still image of Navajo Dam Spillway that was constructed back in 1957 and 1963 at the San Juan River. You can see the ice on the spillway surface indicating seepage. So, with this video, it's being reported that maybe the dam's seepage is a matter of risk and may be an alarming situation for the dam's stability and safety. Well, this dam on the San Juan River is actually a tributary of the Colorado River. In fact, it's one of the major features of the Colorado River Storage Project. If you're new to this, I'd like to mention that this project was designed to regulate water resources across the entire Upper Colorado River Basin. So, after this video got viral on the internet, online users raised questions about the leaking dam and asked experts about the safety of the dam. So, in our today's video, we'll uncover what experts believe and what their thoughts are about the concerns being raised. But before that, I'd request you to subscribe to our channel so in supporting us we'll be able to learn new amazing things together. Well, if we talk a bit about the specifics of the dam, it is actually a rolled earth fill embankment type dam. While the main dam is 123 meters high with the wall consisting of earth rather than concrete. So, now if you watch this video that got viral on TikTok, you'd see the ice follows the strata all the way through the concrete face of the spillway. And, it appears as if the dam is actually leaking or maybe there is some piping phenomenon in action. Now actually, as this ice buildup is being related unintentionally to the leakage, it's best to clear that both seepage and leakage are two different things. We found some reports that in 2024, there was some notice informing the public that there is an increased seepage at the dam and investigations are underway. But in terms of dams, we all know that seepage is pretty common, and it's not that alarming as leakage. Seepage is, in fact, less serious, and is also in less quantity. In September 2024, the road of the dam was closed for the fact that maintenance crews were undertaking the exploratory drilling. But it was mainly to gather geotechnical data on the dam that's part of the dam safety program. So yes, it's confirmed that this exploratory drilling is being carried out to evaluate the reasons why there is an increased amount of seepage at the Navajo Dam over the years. Actually, when you're able to track the source of seepage, only then you'll be able to evaluate if you can address it or not. Or maybe there is no need to be worried about this seepage. Well, most dam engineers and experts believe that ice is not necessarily a problem. So, as per the dam officials, this seepage is already recognized and investigations are already underway. But now, if we go back to that footage from the video, it just indicates ice and there is no spurting water out of the embankment. If that would have been the case, then there might have been serious concerns about the dam safety. But now, because that is not the case in actual, there is no need to be alarmed unnecessarily. But the question is that how we got the ice there on the dam. Well, obviously when you have had seepage coming up from the dam surface, the ice buildup is likely a product of such a seepage. But the chances are that this seepage is being pushed by the head of the water and not the direct leakage. Now mostly what being done is that geotechnical experts make a model of the dam and evaluate different seepage scenarios to see when a seepage level is critical for the dam's safety. But yes, another important factor to consider is the freeze-thaw action that's disastrous for the long-term durability of the concrete. However, that too depends on how long the concrete is exposed to such a freeze-thaw cycle. For the short duration, such a cycle might not pose some immediate serious threat to the stability of the dam. So, you see while seepage is being monitored, experts do not see an immediate threat to the dam's stability. Investigations are ongoing, and officials are taking proactive measures to ensure safety. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you believe the viral footage has raised unnecessary panic, or do you think further action should be taken? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful updates. Also, if you love such videos, here's another video that you must watch. Thanks anyways.